What's up everybody? This is Amy. Welcome to Amy's Art Table. I'm back today with a cute little flower cottage just in time for spring. Um, I think this is going to be a really fun watercolor and I'll give you a few different ideas of how we can do this. So go ahead and gather up some supplies, some watercolor paper, some watercolors, and a sharpie and we'll get started. Okay guys, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. I hope you have some supplies and are ready to get started with this fun flower house cottage here. It's almost like a Dutch or Danish style little cottage with the extra ornate little details here. Now, I'm going to show you a few different ways to do this project. But what you'll need to start with is a sketch that'll look something like this. I use just a regular Sharpie because they're waterproof. Um, another option would be to go to my website and to print off this sketch. I'm going to give it to you for free on my website. You can print it off on copy paper, which will hold watercolor, but will be somewhat flimsy. So if you're in a rush, you could just do it on copy paper. And if you are not in a rush, you could go and get this printed on your watercolor pad, which really only costs the amount of a black and white copy. So it's a great deal, and you'll have this nice print on watercolor paper, which will be a thicker paper for you to do your watercolor on. Now, I have my sketch, um, and what I'm going to do is show you... I've done a few different color schemes of this same cottage style building. Uh, here I've used a lot more blues um, and a little bit of purple. And then over here I'm using primarily red and orange. Um, it's up to you, whichever color scheme you prefer. And then another idea for you, if you're short on time, is to grab your Sharpie. Um, moms, you can do this for your kiddos, and you'll just make a um, regular style house with the triangle top roof and the square bottom, and then you'll just draw a few little windows. So whether you want to start with the cottage or just a simple iconic house, um, flower house, either way, it'll work. Okay? So I am going to be working on something that looks sort of like this today. I'll use a similar color scheme just to keep it um, similar to what I'm trying to show you here. So I'll put these up and grab my sketch. Now, I hope everyone's having a great week. Um, next week is St. Patrick's Day and I think I would like to do a fun little um, easy St. Patrick's Day painting for you guys too. If you're interested in this, um, go ahead and leave me a comment or um, check out my Instagram page. I'll probably have details there for you. But yeah, some kind of fun um, St. Patrick's Day painting. All right, I grabbed some tea and we get started. So how I like to start this type of painting is I want to focus on some bigger flowers. Okay, I'm going to use this reddish orangish red. It's almost like a real deep coral color. Um, and I'm just going to start painting some circular flowers and they can they're going to be on this cute little roof, but they really can be outside of the lines. They do not need to be in the lines. We'll just, the flowers have pretty much taken over this little cottage. And this is just going to be a fun little spring painting. So you make it your own, okay? Choose your own colors. All right, so I'm making large flowers by just dabbing my brush in a circular motion. And I'm just doing the same pattern, leaving a little bit of space um, so I can go back and fit in some more flowers. I like to do the bigger items first and then leave time 
um, to detail at the end. Okay. All right, so now I've set in some nice big red flowers. So I'm gonna move on to some orange. A lot of paint on my brush there, okay. So maybe I'll make the orange flowers slightly smaller or they could be the same size. They'll be tucked in between, sort of almost looks like a Hawaiian lei. They'll just be tucked closely in together, almost like they're coming out of the house. Coming out of the roof here. It's a fun little pattern. Okay, and in watercolor, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll see that I like to do it in sections so that I can let certain areas dry. Um, that's what we'll do now. We will move down here while this is drying. We'll come back and detail this. Um, but for the moment, I would like to move over to a bright yellow. And I want to make some large petals coming off of these windows. So I'm almost going to pretend that the window is the center of these flowers. And I'm using, I'm sort of using patterns here, overlapping. I'm overlapping these petals, but I'm using patterns um, all around this house because um, the Dutch architecture is all about these cool little rhythms um, and the Danish architecture, all about these cool little ornate rhythms everywhere. So I wanna mirror that in this painting. I don't want to forget that we're making a little cottage. Okay, so there's Four flowers, we'll darken this side just a little here. Okay, so four large flowers growing off of the windows. I'm gonna take a moment and grab some light green and just go ahead and shade in these windows. I like this color, okay. You don't have a light green in your watercolor set. You'll take a dark green off to the side. Um, you can use the lid of your palette, like I've used the lid here, um, and you'll mix a dark green, say this green with this yellow, but off to the side. You don't wanna mix it in um, your watercolor pan tray because it will this color, these colors, but it's okay to bring some out and mix it elsewhere. Okay, so we've got this nice green here. And then we should grab a smaller brush. And this will be a good time to stick with this green and start um, working on some greenery. So I'm going to start making some stems and leaves. I'm not going to really worry about what's growing off of these stems and leaves yet, but I just want to start placing them. So I'm just going to work all around the house now, adding these nice little stems wherever I really feel like it. And I'll have you do the same.
Okay, so now I have added these little stems all the way around the house. The house is really starting to grow out of control now, which is really fun. Um, let me add a few more here. Okay, so the next thing that I will work on is going back to the original red. And I'd like to tie that red in down here. So going to make a little dot pattern all the way around the window. It's okay if it bleeds into the yellow. This is just gonna be a fun little character on these um, bigger yellow flowers. Pull these dots out just a little. Okay, something like that. And then again, take that same color. I'm going to move around the house adding some little red flowers. And these could almost be the shape of tulips or just any um, partially closed red flower. I'm not going to add them to every single vine that I've created but about 90%, most of them, we'll add them to. Keep a few little green pieces um, without blooms, just to break up the painting a little. But this one is an important, this one's important and this one's important and these ones around the house are important. So we'll make them Nice and obvious. Right in front of the door there. Okay. Maybe we'll add one more over here. Okay. And then I'm also going to go in and start adding some little leaves in this same reddish color make them bigger and tiny. I'm just going to add them here and there. No real no real reasoning to where I'm placing these, just sort of sporadically. Okay, now one last detail on the roof here. I'm going to grab a burgundy color. I'm just going to start adding some little centers to these flowers. This will just give it a little more detail. Just simple little dots. Okay, that looks good. And then go back to my medium sized brush with some orange and go ahead and paint this door. And this is really going to be it on this fun little flower house cottage.
I really hope that you enjoyed painting with me today. And I hope you'll check back next week for a new video and maybe even a bonus St. Patrick's Day video. Go check me out on Instagram to see what's coming up and have other ideas for art. All right. And there you have it. Fun little flower house. Everyone have a great weekend and really just enjoy the beautiful weather. And I hope we all start seeing blooms like this soon. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.